Good morning, grade 11 students. In our grammar lesson today, we are going to study reported questions, commands, and requests on your student book, page 136. It is a part of reported speech, but we are going to report questions, commands, and requests. So we will be covering three main objectives. First, you are going to infer the grammatical structure of reported questions, commands, and requests. Second, practice reported questions and commands. And third, you will role play a press conference through reporting the questions that were asked. All right, let's get started. Let's go through this short conversation between the displayed characters. You are not helpful. You are just making a mess. What has he just said? So the girl here is supposed to report what the boy has said. So as previously studied, when transforming statements, check whether you have to change pronouns, tense, place and time expressions. And of course, you can refer to the grammar reference, page 171. So what do you think the girl has said when she reports the boy's speech? He said that you weren't helpful and that you were just making a mess. Of course, you are not in the present, weren't, and of course, you are just making, which is the present progressive, because past progressive were just making. All right, now let's do the activity A on your student book page 136. Read the examples and answer the questions that follow. John asked her why she had gone to the doctor. John asked him if he would go to China again. The question is, what questions did John actually ask? So as you can see here, the sentence ends with the full stop, which means that this is not a question is a reported a question and not a direct one. So we need to know what is the direct question. So as usual, we have to think about the backshift in tenses from the direct to the reported. So this is the reported. And we have here had gone, which is the past perfect. So the direct question is supposed to be in the past simple. Why did you go to the doctor? So did you go is the past simple here and this is the direct question. Next one, John asked him if he would go to China again. All right, so we have here would. So it is supposed to be would or will you go to China again? As you can see here, if it is will, we can transform it into would, and if it is would, we keep it the same. So we currently, as you can see here, report the questions or introduce reported questions with some words like asked here. Now move on to the second question. Which words do the reported questions begin with? Why and if. So John asked her why she had gone to the doctor. We kept the same question word. And John asked him if he would go to China again because this is a yes no question. So actually the dark question is, will you go to China? So the speaker is supposed to answer yes or no. So that's why we use if. So both of them begin with the words why and if. 
And as you can see, they are in the affirmative form. They are not in the negative. All right, now let's check your understanding and try to solve these three sentences. The following question, where is he? She asked me, so as we discussed, we should keep the same question word, but we shouldn't keep the inversion. So the answer would be, very good, she asked me where he was. Next one. What are you doing? She asked me. So we are supposed also to start with the same question word. She asked me what I was doing. Next one. Why did you go out last night? So did you go is the past simple. So she asked me, and I have to keep also the same question word, why I went, you can keep the past simple or transform it into the past perfect, why I had gone out last night. Move on now to the activity number B. Read the dialogue below and answer the questions that follow. Now, as you can see, the conversation, short conversation here, so between the guy, Tina and Tina, follow me, please. And here, don't be rude, Lindsay. So which one is a request and which one is a command? As you can see here, follow me, please. This is a polite request. And don't be rude, this is a, a command. Which verb is used to report a command? So let's see, what did he or what did she say to Lindsay? She told her not to be rude. So Dina is reporting what Mrs. Smith has said and she used the verb tell in the past, told. Which verb is used to report a request? As you can see here, Dina, he asked us to follow him. So the verb used is the verb to ask. Now, what does the imperative example follow change to in the reported speech? Here the guide, follow me please, and here to follow. So it changes to plus the base form. Now, what about the negative imperative don't be so don't be rude here she told her because this is in the imperative it's an order given so she told her not to be so to answer this question it changes to not to plus verb in the base form not to for example plus be we commonly introduce reporters commands and requests with ask tell and order. All right, now we are going to check our understanding and try to report commands and requests. Look at this example in the yellow box. Sit down, please, she asked me. So she asked me to sit down. So here, we use the verb ask because it's a request to plus base form. Now put the box here, he told me. He told me, very good, to put the box there. You can pause the video and try to answer yourself and check your answers. Don't forget about your mom's birthday, Sarah reminded me. So Sarah reminded me not to forget about my mom's birthday. It's in the negative, so it is not to. Park your car behind the hotel. The porter asked me to park my car. This is not a command, this is a request. Do not hesitate for too long. He told me not to hesitate for too long. Please get in touch with them today. He asked me 
to get in touch with them that day. So today becomes that day. Now let's move on to the exercise C, page 136 on your student book. We are going to practice reporting questions, commands and requests. All right, now we are going to read the text below and circle the correct option, which is about the South African trip. Jim wanted to go on a trip to an exotic destination, so he decided to get some advice from his friend Mike, who worked at a travel agency. He asked Mike where could he go or he could go. As you can see, this is a reported question and not a direct one. And we said in the reported question, we cannot use the, the inversion like could he go? It's a reported question. So the answer would be he could go. Mike advised him. So to advise someone to go on a package tour. So as you can see, this introductory verb requires two plus base form. On a package tour to South Africa, which was very interesting destination. The package tour included visits to peaceful and scenic landscapes along with the garden, along the garden route. Excellent views of Cape Town from the top of Table Mountain, as well as many entertaining activities in Sun City. Jim liked the idea but wanted to know if it would cost or if it will cost a fortune. As we said, this is a reported question and not a direct one. And in the reported question, we are not supposed to use well because this one is used usually in the direct questions. And when we do a back shift in tenses, well becomes would. Mike told him that he is lucky or he was lucky. So when I say you are lucky, this is direct statement. And of course, if I want to report this, you are lucky, I will make it in the past. So he was lucky because there was a discount on that specific package. Jim told Mike that he would think, or would he think, this sounds a direct question, which is not possible. So he would think about it went home to do some research on South Africa. Mike had warned him to not or not to, so as the rule says, not to wait too long to make up his mind because the offer would only be available for a short period of time. Jim asked his wife if she liked or if she likes the destination. If she likes, because this is reported and not direct. And she said that she could always dream or had always dreamt of going on a trip had always dreamt because if we think about the direct one it will be i have always dreamt so when we report it had always dreamt of going on a trip like that that is when jim called his friend and told him to book or book to tell someone to do something so to book mike informed jim that they wouldn't regret or wouldn't they regret their choice this is not a question this is not a direct question. This is a reported one. We cannot use the inversion. So the answer is they wouldn't regret. All right, now it's time to contextualize what you have learned through a role play. What are the questions that you could ask in a press conference about Qatar World Cup? Write your questions and student two is supposed to report these questions. And of course you can practice this with a friend of yours we might have some questions like this when will the tickets go live for the fifa world cup you can say how many stadiums does qatar 2022 have and if we report what the journalist has said we would say the journalist asked when the tickets would go live for fifa world cup and the journalist asked how many stadiums qatar 2022 had so you can try to write as many questions as you can and then report them
I suggest that you do the activity number B as a homework and check your answers with your teacher. Thank you so much for your attention. Have a wonderful day.